Hello YouTube. I usually, uh, I apologize for my looks. I usually don't speak from where I'm sitting right now, which will probably just tell you how lazy of a day I'm having. I need to hurry up and get my life together. I need to do my laundry and I need to walk my dog. But I wanted to get this video out, or if not, I never will because I keep on saying I'll do it and then I don't do it. Uh, so here we go. I just wanted to touch really quickly on a point that I forgot to make in the last review I did, the finale for White Whale Underground. Um, Patty Cannon. I'm really, really interested to see where, uh, where she, how, how they basically use a character in season two, because those of you, um, who may not know who she is, she's a real historical character. Um, she is the one, the female slave catcher who, uh, found Noah and also, uh, uh, captured August and then put him in jail and told him you, as you know, slave catchers, we can do some pretty criminal shit. But uh, we just don't kill white people. Interesting on her note because Patty Cannon is infamous for a lot of bad shit. Um, on her deathbed, she admitted to poisoning her first husband when she was younger. Uh, then she opened up a brothel afterwards, I believe. And then um, she also admitted to killing one of her own children. Um, she also... Um, admitted to killing over a dozen, two dozen people in her lifetime. Um, she and her gang were infamous for capturing free people and selling them into slavery in the South. Uh, Philadelphia itself as a city was one of the cities that issued, uh, for, that wanted this to be looked at because they had so many free black people going missing, lots of children, uh, she was she that was her favorite thing to do was to kidnap free children and sell them in the South for profit. She was a really evil woman. When she died on the property, they found all these dead bodies everywhere in the basement. Uh, she yeah, read about her. She did some fucked up shit. So I like I'm just curious about how. So I'm interested to see how they portray a character next season. I wonder if they're gonna go hard with it or if they're gonna candy coat it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm watching Underground. We'll see. Um, now, I also compiled a list for anyone, if they're interested, that it thinks they're going to be itching for some underground, but you know, it's not going to come until 2017, so if not, you can, I can always give you some recommendations of some good reads that I have read before that I think are great on the subject of slavery and history and things like that. Um, the first one is The Known World by Edward P. Jones. It is such a great book it just covers it just takes place it's a realist novel I guess you would call it it's realism and it takes place in the antebellum south and you read it it's good uh song uh yet song, song yet sung by James McBride, McBride which is actually received a award from the NAACP I think um he actually is uh this book is um from a slave's perspective and she's been captured by Patty Cannon so it would definitely be a good read before next season um, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Harriet Jacobs. That book was so haunting to me after I read it. For it, it, it even still sticks with me. The things that she went through to get her freedom. And one of the things that she did, I'm not going to give the book away. All I'm going to say is she stays trapped in a wall for years with a hole. One little hole to see through and watches her children grow up. Don't ask me how, when, what. Read the book if you want to know the context. But it is crazy. Uh, the Narratives of the Life of Frederick Douglass. That is a good read. Um, Kindred by Octavia Butler. Uh, try Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harry Peter Stowe. Don't get... And definitely if you especially think you use the phrase Uncle Tom, which I don't, I'm not really down with that. Um... Or, and, and people, because that's mostly how people know the book, but they, most people that say it I know have not read the fucking book. But anyway, read the book. It's a great discussion topic. I like the book. Also understand the context of that book. Lincoln referred to Harry Beecher Stowe as the woman who started the revolu the, the um, Civil War. Um, and that was because her, she actually published Uncle Tom's Cabin in bits and pieces. So, in chapters. And it was put in magazines, some abolitionist magazines even. And, um... She basically is the one who brought the shit that was going on in in um in the South 
uh, and the brutality and all that kind of shit that was going down. She was the one that brought that to the household homes of other Americans who started to feel some type of way about it and then started to push for legislation to change shit. So, you know, in a sense, she helped out the cause. Also, another thing is that in her, what made me like the book at, at anything is the address. Yes, I read the introduction and I read whatever the author has to say afterwards. And she makes an address in this book. And it's all about how um, she says that she was a firm believer that you couldn't just... Uh, set the slaves free and then think that everything was going to be hunky dory because we she she literally says we have done so much damage to them as a people we've got to now start working on how are we going to fix this are we going to assist in fixing the problem we've created by enslaving them for so many years and she talked about education bringing them into our homes allowing them to move in our neighborhoods things like that which were really which is really interesting she was so ahead of time ahead of her time and she even talks about Liberia and how she says so many things that, like, you're like, oh, my God, it's crazy. It's the 21st century, and this woman was on point. And she, you know, so she doesn't get a lot of credit where, where it's due when people talk shit on her book, and I, I don't appreciate it. So uh, Island Beneath the Sea by Isabel Allende, that talks about um, the whole, like, that is literally a, a beautiful novel, fictional, historical novel that's written about, and it takes place in what is now Haiti and Dominican Republic. And this is good, too, because, you know, they're... Slavery, remember, wasn't just about cotton in America. It was also happened in the Caribbean, and that was with the sugar cane, and that was pretty brutal as well. And it's just a really, really good um, read it because it actually does tie in to Louisiana. It, it it has strong history with what we consider now New Orleans, Nolens, and Louisiana. It's part of the history. So when you read this book, you will you will get a, you will learn a little bit about that part of the South. Um, and um, so and then also there's the testimony of an Irish slave girl uh, by Kate McCafferty. And there were a lot of Irish that were also sold into slavery. I, I don't give a fuck. Like indentured servant slavery, they lied to them. They would keep them for life. But anyway, she. Um, this is a good book. Read that book as well if you'd like to. If I have missed anything. Um, or that, that you think is important, please leave it in the comments. Also, I mean, like, if you, I'm always looking for new reads as well that I would like to, new books to read. I, um, you know, I would, I would love if someone gave me some recommendations if there's anything that, uh, that you've read that you think is relevant to the subject and that you think I should give a try. Definitely put it in the comments. Um, I also want to do one last thing, and that is give a shout out because I've gotten so much love when I've done these just like two recent reviews. And I just want to, I already know that I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate the feedback and um, it, it's exciting. So uh, I just want to say thank you to, I'm reading it, yes, because I can't remember all y'all names. I just want to say thank you so much to Rachel Curly Locks, CPS Inspiration Station, Coupon with Star, Tamika Randall, Donna Vey, uh, Rakaira, uh, Evelyn Nicole Alexander Pauling, Badu. Thank you so much for watching my review and commenting. Um, just, you know, I will definitely try and keep it up. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe doing uh, one of the um, one or two episodes in the past that I didn't do because at the time I wasn't doing reviews. And I'm thinking so far, I know the first one I'm going to do is Cradle. I think that was a very important episode, and I, I wish I had been doing reviews when that episode was out because I had so much to say about that episode. Um, so maybe I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, you know, like, we have until 2017. Maybe we can start a book club, you know? Read some of these books and talk about them. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, and I... Um, We'll find something else to review or talk about in the, in, the, in the meantime. Who knows? Things always come up. Have a great time. Have a great day. Bye.